welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Cornel West's claims that Kamala Harris tried to bribe him to drop out the presidential race. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Cornell West was on a podcast called The Status Quo by Jordan Turin. If you know him, he used to work at TYT. And the interview, he claims that Kamala Harris and her campaign wanted to bribe him to drop out the race, that they would give him money, that basically they would clear all his debts, and they possibly would give him a job in their administration. I'm not surprised because she also possibly have done this with Jill Stein or anybody who's close to taking any margins of victory away from her. You have to understand, in this election, it's going to be won by the margins. And I'm going to explain this to you real simple. Joe Biden won this election by 40,000 votes in the 2020. 10,000 in Georgia, 10,000 in Wisconsin, about 10 or 15,000 in Arizona. When you add in a Jill Stein or Cornell West, you're talking about taking votes away from Kamala Harris that could cost her an election. So this is why she possibly did come to him with a bag and a job because she needs him out of the race. She needs Jill Stein out of the race. And she's mad that RFK dropped out the race because RFK was taking votes away from President Trump. But something happened today. RFK wanted to get off the ballot in Wisconsin and Michigan, but they say they are keeping him on the ballot. So you see how the foundation of this race is taking place. There are advantages or disadvantages when you have these independent candidates in this race because either side could cost them the election. We see that Cornell is still there, Jill is still there. So you're talking about races that were won by 10, 12,000 votes. If Cornell West picks up 300,000, Jill spent, takes 200,000, that's coming from Kamala Harris. Remember, the RCP advantage at this point in time when Joe Biden was running against President Trump, he was up by 7.1%. Hillary Clinton was up by 6.3%. She's only up by one5 You have to understand that President Trump, when he runs an election, he doesn't poll well. He does better on election day. If she's that far behind Biden and Clinton, that means she's behind President Trump, really, in the election. She's not ahead. She's ahead by numbers. But when David Pluff and those in control of her campaign really look at the numbers, she's actually behind because they know how strong he is on election day. So she's trying to get rid of Cornell. She's trying to get rid of Jill Stein. She's trying to get rid of any leftists that can take any votes from her. She needs every vote that she possibly can get and any new voters that possibly can come into this race. And if help, she needs help, she can get help from the deep state, the unions, the forge votes. I don't understand. Why should she would openly do this to Cornell West, knowing he is not that type of man? He told the campaign, you're talking to the wrong person. But this election, she knows when they speak in her campaign meetings that they are really behind President Trump. They know the real numbers. They know how he runs on election day. They know how strong he is with his voters that they will be out in full force on election day. So they need to get Cornell out of the race. They need to get Jill Stein out of the race as quick as possible. So 
they can come together as a group because she needs them votes, man. I'm telling you right now, unless she gets help from somewhere, the deep state, or if they try and put Trump in jail next month in New York State, or if they try and do something with Jack Smith and the J6 indictments, they will try to do anything to win this race. And it's all on the table. If you notice, she's doing her first interview this week with CNN's Data Bash with Governor Tim Waltz. She won't do it alone. The interview has to be pre-recorded. So you know why it's pre-recorded? Because they want to control the message that comes out of that video. If she wants, if she makes mistakes, they want to be able to edit that video. Because they don't trust Kamala Harris. She's almost like a Manchurian candidate when you think about it. They're trying to make her seem perfect, but she's a very imperfect person who's running for president. She might just win simply because of the person that she's running against, because of the people who dislike them, those in power, those in the deep state, those around the world, the global elite, that she might pull this off. But she needs some serious help. And she needs it now. So people who are giddy, because they see her winning in a few polls, go ask Joe Biden, go ask Hillary Clinton. They had bigger leads. Hillary lost. Joe won by the skin of his fingernails. And you are a lot farther behind them at this point in the election. So Trump is looking pretty good right now. If you really want to look at the numbers. But getting him out of the election, getting any Democrat or liberal or progressive out of the election is key to her winning this election. It's going to be a tough it's going to be a close election, but that's the only way she can actually win this election. Trump is coalescing behind RFK Jr. He's coalescing with Tulsi Gabbard. He's coalescing with any conservative that he can find to pull off, to me, the improbable election. Because he has so many enemies that it's almost difficult for anybody to understand how he can pull off this election. I would love to hear your comments in the comments section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. But also share this video.